Before this video begins, I'd like to give a special thanks to the people listed on screen for supporting me on Patreon. Anyway, oh no. <laughs> it's time to die. Here we go. It's Rally Finland time, boys. Are you ready? For the Nist Rally Finland, taking place near that, that word. Very special event in the WRC calendar. The small yumps. That layer of stages can offer great excitement for the crowd and demand great dedication from the drivers. And also pluck your ass for the entirety of every stage. Anyways, 100% gravel. And uh, I don't like the new Burnout game. Looks like a mobile game. I mean, uh, to be fair, Chaos, it was a team of seven plus an intern. And they didn't have a big budget. So, you know. They did what they could with what they had. Nesta Rally Finland is driven pretty much flat out, with wide, straight roads and sweeping bends. It's run on gravel through forests and countryside, and is one of the quickest events in the WRC. But the many bumps in the road, known as yumps, can easily wreck a car that lands heavily, so this event is about more than pure speed. This event is about scaring the shit out of me. And uh, probably going to have at least 15 massive crashes here. I guess we'll find out when we get to it. So, hooray. Also, you know, chaos. Graphics don't, don't make or break a game. It's the gameplay. So, welcome to the Nesta Fally, Fally, Fally Rinland. Yeah, that's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. So... Stage number one, only 4.5 Ks, but we'll see how hard I pucker throughout those 4.5 Ks, and there's our setup, so. Here we go. Yeah, some preemptive Fs. Nestle, front, yeah. <clears throat> eh. About to get some Nest quick. So. Here we go. Let's Three, just skip that. Two, one, one, go. Oh boy, here we go. It's Finland time. And we're already bumping. Straight. Going off bunch of humps and dumps and who wants some fucking nets quick? That's not a two. That's much tighter than a two. Same here. Well, good start as far as the timetable. Right Oops, that's the grass. I'm not at Germany anymore. I don't have infinite grip. I'm not on tarmac. Okay. That was, uh... Got, gotta love the immediate sharp turn after, like, right after a jump. Like meters after a jump. It's my favorite. Oh shit! I didn't realize the one left was coming up that quick. Black turn speed. Honestly, part of it could be because I'm not turning my wheel enough. Like my actual wheel. I don't know. I got I got 90 degrees of rotation one way, so. Maybe I should use up all those 90 degrees. Oh, Jesus. Well, I almost made it. At least I haven't... There aren't any trees close enough to wrap my car around. Oh, I've lost a lot of time in that sector. Okay. Yeet. Yoink. I know your twos. They're tight twos. Yeah. Game doesn't look made for wheel. It's better than you'd think, Matt. It's actually a lot of fun with the wheel. 
looked like a lot of fun with the wheel. Co-driver's full of shit. So, Science takes the win of the first stage by 0, .0, what, 0 .06 over Grunholm. And there I am in ninth. Good start. Good stand. The Skodas are already starting to fall. Rip. Alright, well, let's try to do a little better here on stage two. We have twice the length to do it, so, um, here we go. Here we go. 8.9 kilometers of, uh, Oh, fear. Guitar here was good with a wheel. You know what's good with a Guitar Hero controller? Eye racing. Alright, here we go. Stage number two. Let's, let's do gooder. Oh, God. Oh, this this turn just gets tighter and tighter. All right. One right. Cool. Well, where am I going? That's the grass. I need to stay on the brown stuff, not the green stuff. Ah. Fine. Oh god. Slow it down. Stop the car. Racing with a dual shock. Not even a dual shock, just a standard PS1 controller. So I'm struggling a bit. The stopwatch says otherwise, but I'm struggling. <laughs> Oh, that's a three. I don't know why I thought I could approach a three at that speed, but I did, and I paid the price slightly. There is a junction. Ooh, a little tarmac section. Is this the rest of that 100% uh, asphalt from Germany? And then the gravel in Germany was uh, the rest of the 100% gravel here. Big thunk. Smooth, oh shit. And the dirt. Oh good, Road Narrows. What I love to hear. My favorite pace note. Very long to right. I don't trust this turn. Oh, that's not yet, not yet. Let's just turn into the buildings. Why not? Go. Now I'm getting the hang of this place. Kind of. In the uh, famous last words. There's the finish line. And there we go. 
Jesus, 11 seconds. Okay? All right, <laughs> air horns. Three, two, one. <laughs> Remember when air horns were used were known as a thing that people actually used at sporting events instead of lol MLG? I remember. So I won that stage by eleven seconds. That's uh yeah, I think that's a good recovery. And Panizzi and Hirvanen are out. Two straight DNFs for Hirvanen and Oriol. And also Panizzi is out. You hate to see it. Yes, they are going in. Yeah, Hirvan out again. So, uh, yeah, heading into day two, I now have an almost nine second advantage over Grunholm, in, who is in second. And, uh, Jesus, look at that big shakeup in the standings. Everyone from fourth on back gained, or fourth to eighth gained positions, and everyone ninth on back lost positions. Big shakeup. A superstar shakeup. Anyways, let's move on to day number two with our first stage, 8.3 kilometers in length. So, all that. Let's move on to stage two. You're at Finland. Finland! I'm surprised it's taking me to stage three to do the Patrick thing. Cat is yelling at me all the way across the, from all the way across the room. Three, I, I don't know two, anymore. One, go. See a super, yeah, there's a super special. We don't end with the super special stage. Hello, cat. How are you doing? You don't say. Want to watch me fly off a cliff? Oh god. Or just wrap my car around a tree. Me, yeah, the grass. Big jump. Oh god, it's too big. My PP is not large enough for those jumps. So I, I definitely botched the uh, the jump that they actually measured because I suck. Like, I saw those distance markers over the second jump. Like, wow, I completely lost the jump that actually matters to fans. How dare I not put on a show? WRC is entertainment first. It's like Monster Jam. It's for the entertainment, not for actual competition. <laughs> It's like NASCAR to some to uh, some people, unfortunately. It only exists for the crashes and not the act and the the uh, radio salt, not actual racing. Stupid idiot! Idiots! So I was going to call them fans, but they're not fans. See, I think it was Bob Jenkins who said it one time, but, uh, in, like, completely different context, but, uh, it's like, these aren't racing fans, these are racing idiots. Holy shit. Hey, Cameron, yes, this is Ram Ranch. We're in Finland. The Ramiest Ranch. I did not slow down enough. Go me. Despite all my struggles, uh, you see those three green sectors. I don't know how. Oh my god. What am I doing? Am I doing everything wrong in this stage? And I'm still gaining time. Stupid evolution upgrades making me OP. 
Guess it's definitely not driver. It's skill. Actually, speaking of, I wonder how many consecutive days I've streamed now. Because it's been close to two weeks, I think. It just, it just kind of happened. Like, once I finished NASCAR 05, I'm like, yes, motivation. Kingdom Hearts! Anyways, I win the stage. Add another eight seconds, nine seconds to my uh, lead. Three, two, one. It's been two weeks since you looked at me. NASCAR LP complete. Goodbye, apathy. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways, here's the results of stage number three. That was three, right? Not four. Yeah, that was three. And now, with that, I have a 19 second lead over Marcus Grunholm. At the halfway point, so hooray! I did it. I kicked their ass, and now some tells me this 10.6k stage is gonna kick my ass. Let's get our ass kicked. Unlocked my today. Oh boy! You unlocked herpy, uh, harpy ladies. Oh hey Harry, I'm just I'm just running uh, the graphics settings on low. That's that's the only reason why it looks this bad. Three, two, one, go. This is dirt rally two. It's, it's just you know my computer can't handle it, so I have to run the graphics on low. Have to run the graphics on low, and I only get 25 FP. Oh shit! I took a drink. I got thirsty. Stay dirty. Alright, see you PS2 and one, yeah. Dirt Rally 2.0 Richard Burns graphics mod. Now fuck me. Well, this ra uh, stage is starting off very well. And by that I mean garbage. Absolute garbage. How long is okay. And I'm still the fastest in that first sector. Despite taking a drink. I mean they finally learned how to count to four, uh, you know, a couple years ago since they with the release of Dirt 4. But yeah. It is actually interesting, like, most of the Codemaster stuff are always trilogies, the only exceptions are Colin McRae and Dirt. Because Colin McRae, well, actually, Colin McRae was weird, because it went 1, 2, 1, 2.0, 2 3, and then 2004, and then 05. <laughs> what I want to know is what happened to Colin McRae Rally 4 through 2002, uh, 3. <laughs> Where's those games, Codemasters? <laughs> Oh, it's 04 and 2005. Still. Still. And of course they... So yeah, I think Codemasters only knows how to count to... F like, count past three when it comes to their rally games. Because, you know, the original Toka... Like, PS1 era Toka, that was its own trilogy, and then we had the Toka Race Driver trilogy, and then we had the Grid trilogy. Grid Autosport is becoming the Skyrim of racing games, where it's being ported to everything. Instead of making a new grid. <laughs> Anyways. Go 
Oh, we were talking about how uh, Codemaster struggles to count past three. And, uh, I mentioned the, the Toka Slash Grid trilogy of trilogies. And how Grid Autosports... Grid Autosport is kind of the Skyrim of racing games, because it keeps getting ported to everything. By ported to everything, I mean there's a mobile version and there's a Switch version in development. And possibly a Samsung Smart Fridge uh, version, I don't know. Can't wait for Grid Autosport Alexa Edition. Todd Howard by my fucking reason. What if Todd Howard was the uh, actual like president of uh, Raven West? Or like the guy who ran with Raven West? Team owner, there we go, that's the word I was th uh, the title I was thinking of. Wow, that sector went fucking terrible, apparently. Ooh, the the scary chicane. It likes a fire knee from the cane. My foot in it. Uh, I won the stage. Are you okay? So you know how I lost like seven seconds in that fourth sector? I gained like fucking thirteen Three, in the final sector. Two, one, go. Actually more than that, I gained like almost twenty seconds in that final sector. I don't know, Harry, because I haven't played Dirt Rally 2. I haven't like seen game much gameplay of Dirt Rally 2 either. So, there's that. That was that was ten seconds of Roman. Where the fuck is Grunholm? He was in tenth in the stage. I don't think he's second in the rally anymore. Oh, and there's another Pojo out. Richard Burns is out. So Grunholm is the lone survivor, I think. Is there? Wait, no, Roven Para. That's right. Pojo has four drivers. Still. And there's that. So Grunholm gets bumped back to fourth, and Roven Para up to second. As I enjoy a nice uh, half minute lead nearly over Roven Para. Hooray. So, with that, day two is done. Let's move on to our final two stages, starting with the reverse of stage two. And all of its nearly nine kilometers of uh, stuff. So, uh, let's put my glove back on. I have to take my glove off so I can actually navigate the menus because I can't fucking feel what button I'm pressing with the glove on. And, uh... Give my cat some attention so she'll, she'll, she'll shut up. She'll, she'll, I can't fucking speak. How's life? Uh, shitty as it's always been. No changes there. Oh god. Good start. Eh, something like that, Harry. Never arranged for that. The longest stage so far has been 11Ks, like, exactly. I'm not sure if there's anything longer in the uh, upcoming rounds. We. Oui. Penis. I just, I just drove into the grass. Like, the road didn't even curve or anything. I just, I just drove into the grass. Like a dummy. This rally so far, I have probably uh, Monaco. 
But I think the shortest stage at Mon Monte Carlo was, uh, like, eight point something, like, over eight kilometers. Wee. This little tarmac section here. The little road connecting our uh, stage paths. Monte Carlo. Oh shit! Oh god. Okay. I almost tried to drive on the right side of that uh that pole. That would have been a disaster. Speaking of disasters, my attempt at that turn. Double apex. I saw animals. Not sure what kind of animals, but they're large animals. Bovine. Whoops. Why did I turn my wheel to the right there? I'm not sure. But, uh, it, it screwed up my turn. Screwed up that left. Yup. I back, I'm dead. <laughs> Hilarious. Very long three left. Oh shit. Okay, we're good. I think. I'm alive. Oh god, I might not be alive very much longer. Big jump! Straight. Did I get a distance record? Probably not. And okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Three, <clears throat> shit myself. Two, one, go. Damn you later on Twitter, I'd appreciate it. Uh okay. I will not be able to remember this, but I will make an attempt, Angel. Also see you later. <clears throat> Freddy, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Freddy? So, uh, another large extension to my rally lead, and we have another retirement. This time it's Tommy Mackinnon. Well, I think this is the most attrition we've had so far. Five drivers out of the rally heading into our super special. <clears throat> and I have a 52 second, 51 second lead over Roven Para. So, uh,. That's 10 points for me. That is definitely 10 points for me. So, on to the super special. Oh, pretty short one. Only 2Ks. So, less than 2 miles in length. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, this will be a quick flick. And then watch as I lose 59 seconds. Lose a minute in this to Rovin Para. against a Ford driver. Don't know who it is, but it's a Ford driver. Whoa. Oh, no, don't hit the rail. Don't hit the onco. We're going this way. And yeah, this is pretty much a very bare-bones super special in terms of a layout. Yoink. Oh god. Well, there's no way I was making that. Absolutely no way I was making that. Broke the car. That's not a 5 left, that's a fucking like 9 left. 
on a scale of six. Oh shit, okay. Might have a little bit of mechanical damage, just a little bit though. It's okay, I still beat the uh, whoever I was racing. Nice breaking, yeah, thanks. Oh, I beat, it was Hirovanin. Back from the dead. Actually, no, I think he was still in the rally. Managed to beat Hirovanin by, oh, nine seconds. Apparently he struggled at that turn as well. Except he didn't nose it into the Armco, he just kind of had a issue. And yay, we've unlocked all of the, uh, the finish stages now. Hooray, all nine of them. And I was sixth. Look at all that, Carlos Sainz with the fastest time at a 58.63, damn. Sub one minute, Pog. Tony Gardemeister, fourth quickest. How about that shit? Oh, hang on. We need to we do need to do a name check here. Do we have any duplicates? Well, we had one person come back. Actually, it was it was uh, it was Hirovenin. Yeah, it was Hirovenin. <laughs> so Hirovenin returned to do the uh, super special, but he's still out of the rally. Speaking of, I won by 50 seconds over Grunholm, who managed to take second from Rovenpair at the end. Congratulations. And then there's Marco Martin, Petter Solberg, Francois Duval, Sebastian Loeb, and Carlos Sainz, the rest of the point scorers. Here is the rest of the order. Only 12 of the 17 entries managed to finish. Of course, here Vanin decided to participate in the uh, Super Special against me. Yeah, I don't know what uh, what this game does when it chooses whoever to put you up against in the Super Special, but I think it has some uh, glitchiness to it. Considering we had that double Sebastian Loeb, you know, a couple of rallies ago. But for, I believe, the fourth time in a row, we get to stand on the top step of the podium. And celebrate this time at Finland. My co-driver just chugs the champagne, and I'm just like, yeah, trophy, yeah, I know how to hold a trophy, look at that, woo! I miss Japan. Maybe. Actually, I don't think Japanese rally existed in 2003. So, oh, there you go, well, there's snow with the, uh, the facts. But anyways, with that victory, and only two points for Loeb, my, uh, my advantage is now 33 in the championship, so at least three rounds, with five remaining, by the way. Got a tie for third between Marco Martin and Petter Solberg, and then we have the Pojo Trio in fifth, sixth, and seventh. With Grunholm and Rovenpera passing burdens with their uh, second and third, respectively. And that is all the updated points. Still only 14, 14 out of 17 drivers with points. And with another victory, and uh, another struggling performance from Citroen with their two DNFs, I, uh, yeah, got Hyundai up on the top of the manufacturer standings, finally. By five points over Citroen. <clears throat> or no, I was thinking of Peugeot that had the two uh, retirements. His Citroen just didn't have a very good rally, I don't think. But anyways, there's the updated points, and Ford had another good round as they're trying to work their way up into the fight. Uh, at the top, make it a five manufacturer battle instead of four, and uh, yeah, and then Skoda still just exists with their two points, but there's another round down, and another successful round down, so uh, let's move on to the next. Mm -hmm.